明白吗 ？Today's video would probably be my most favorite so far because it's about something that I can't live without literally, and it's a very unique feature of Myanmar, and you can find only in Myanmar or around Myanmar people. I'm not sure you can guess it right. Yeah, let's get this started. Yes, this is picker tea leaf salad, a very authentic Burmese food. And I'm not sure do any people in other countries eat tea leaf, but whenever I told my non Myanmar friends that we eat tea leaf, they were completely shocked. Even those Chinese people who drink tea a lot, they stare at me as if I was kind of alien. But I find that many foreigners like it after they tried it, especially Singaporeans. I've never seen any Singaporean who dislike it yet. And you know, Burmese food had different range of. Texture and taste that not many people, not everyone can love everything. For example, not everybody loves mohinga, and many people like to avoid oily and spicy stuffs. But this picker tea salad is something that everyone can enjoy it. I love it, and literally I can have my meal without any dish at all, only with it every day. So I'm going to talk about how it's being processed and how to eat it. There are different ways to eat tea leaf salad. Like years ago, tea leaf alone is the symbolization of peace. After two parties settle their argument, they give a packet of tea leaf, which means peace. And we can eat as the salad by mixing it with different kind of peas and beans, as well as tomato, cabbage, chili, garlic, and dried prawn. In some cases, in some rare cases, people even put wild corn and. Some kind of incest, not all over the country, but in some places they do. And we can either mix all the ingredients in one plate to have a perfect salad, or we can put different ingredients separately in one same plate or local bowl. And the latter is the way they serve at the ceremonies and wedding. There are various types of tea leaf depending on how they prepared it. Normally, tea leaves are produced from Shan State, eastern part of Myanmar, and from Mugok Town in Mandalay Division, which is in middle of Myanmar. Before the fermentation process is started, tea leaves are usually steamed. Then they put into bamboo vats, set in pits, and pressed by heavy weights for how many days? Then they, after the fermentation process is done, they sell it as raw material. Different tea leaves select sellers around the countries would buy it to modify according to their brand's taste. There are a ton of tea leaf brands in Myanmar, and for us and customers, there are a wide range of tea selection, varying from spicy, super spicy, original, normal, and two main texture of mesh and yang leaves. Many prefer yang. Leaves, but I personally love mesh one. So this is a packet of tea leaf. Is brand is usually my most favorite, and this is a packet of different fried peas and beans, and there's some fried garlic as well. Um, I've put some fried peas and beans and fried garlic as well, and the spoon is. It's the spoon that we always use to eat tea leaf salad, so it's called in Burmese tea leaf spoon. So this is how it looks like after mixing it. You can ha you can add tomato and cabbage, chili, dry prawn if you want according to your taste buds, and you can either have it with a a plate of rice or a jug of plain tea, and that's delicious. And yep, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy the making of tea leaf salad. And if you like to know more anything about Myanmar culture or tradition or anything like that, just leave your comments below, and I try to address it in our next video. Ta da!